Hey everybody, Ash here with my second cooking video. In this video I'll be walking you through the steps to make some beer, which is one of the most uh, important things to make if you have uh, an army of workers like I do. To make beer you need the following. You need five starch, six mineral water, one sugar, and two leavening agents. The only thing you really need to gather is the cereals or the, the starch. And you can do that either by doing it by hand, which I'll show you first, or through nodes, which is the easiest. So if you'd like to gather by hand, you'll need some energy. And energy is consumed basically just by gathering nowadays and uh, amity and things. Energy can be earned by having knowledge, discovering places, discovering people, discovering events. Once you have enough energy, you can go out and gather. And for my purposes, I'm in Calfion here. It's kind of my home base for everything. So it's easy enough to go and gather when I need it, which I usually don't. But if I needed it, I can go up here to the northern wheat plantation and do some gathering. And the starches that you can use are wheat, barley, potato, sweet potato, or corn. And right here, I'm standing in front of some cornfields, kind of in the U or the Y, I guess, more like a Y, uh, right south of the northern wheat plantation. Together, you'll need a hoe, so a steel hoe, or there's magic hoes, there's lucky hoes, there's a ton. You can either craft those or just buy them off the marketplace. There's usually some, uh, for instance, the bronze one, 24,000. Oh, there's more things than I thought there would be. <laughs> but you get the picture. So I have that on. You could also put on some gathering clothes if you have them. Or if you have a penguin, that'll increase your gathering. I also have a life alchemy stone. So that increases my gathering. And I also have some fig pie, which increases my gathering chances also. So I'm going to turn on my alchemy stone. If you have your hoe equipped, you just go up to any that are available for corn here. I just press R. You could gather this without the tool, but you'll get a lot less, and sometimes you won't even get any. So I'm just going to gather a couple here. You'll need five for the recipe. And if you have high enough cooking experience, you can actually get by with less, but it doesn't always work. So since starches are really easy to get. I just always go for five. So let's gather some more. I just walk through the different stalks. Wheat and barley is pretty much the same. Potato too. Sweet potato is interesting. Sweet potato is from a node, which I'll tell you next. And that's actually where I like to get my starch nowadays. <clears throat> okay. So if I press my eye for my inventory, I can see I have 22 corn. Let's make it 25 at least. Let's get one more. There we go. Okay. So I could have gathered different kinds of things. Or I can invest in nodes. So by now you probably understand the node, or maybe you're just starting out. Nodes are these different things on the map that you can hover over, tell you about it. If you have it turned on, it'll be reddish, and the line will be a little highlighted also. If your nodes are connected correctly, you can have your workers collect. They go from your city to your place that you want, and they'll collect certain items. For me, I have a Calfion worker, which I will show you how to get in a minute. And I invested in the Northern Wheat Plantation Barley node. And with your contribution that you invest, you can send your worker off to collect some starch. I've also had the wheat, and I've also had paprika too, but don't need that right now. There's lots of different nodes that would work. There's potato, South Velia. There's more potato, lots of places. 
another interesting one is sweet potato which I have to there we go yep so in media this is media here at Shuri farm there are sweet potatoes that you can invest in and these are good because when you get enough and your worker is high enough you'll actually get some special kinds of sweet potato and for special types of pretty much any cooking uh, items you can use one instead of five so I'll have to use five corn but if I had a special kind I could just use one and then high quality usually three to five if the recipe calls for five just use three sometimes you'll get away with just two I could also farm and that will get me some starch too so farming is a whole nother thing but basically you buy seeds from the marketplace or vendors to start off and you wait for them to grow <clears throat> you can prune it yourself you can have farmers that are workers do it for you but when you go gather you could plant some corn and gather it or any other starch you're choosing right now I don't have any starch because I just get enough from all of my nodes that's another way though if you wanted some special kinds it takes a long time and I don't think it's really worth it to farm the corn or any starch for that matter alright so I have my starch where are we there we go I have my corn now I need some water some leavening and some sugar easiest way to do this is just to go to your cooking bender all big towns have a cooking bender so I'm gonna go there and I'll buy what you need you could also look on the marketplace most of them are not on the marketplace because it really doesn't make any difference sometimes you'll get good deals but the easiest is just to buy it from the cooking vendor there's mineral water All right. Cool. so here is our chef usually taverns making new stuff's never easy so there's the water it is cheaper on the marketplace but it's usually not there so I'm just going to buy a bunch use a lot of water you will want some sugar and you'll want some leavening agents there we go so I have the base recipe all set I'm gonna go to my residence my last video I showed you how to set up your residence and get your cooking utensil that's my farm sorry remember you can click on your house and sometimes the auto works nice unfortunately in my case it doesn't work so great but my house is over here it's very dark and I press R to enter and there we go alright so I have my cooking utensils all set up got all my ingredients I'm ready to go I have a couple certain things that you may not have and if you're wondering I have my alchemy stone which does decrease my cooking time I also have some buffs on too. I have some cooking clothes that helps increase, uh, well actually just decrease your cooking time. But I also have the canapé costume that's pearl and that gives you more cooking experience. Alright, so I've got that on. So I'm going to walk up to my cooking utensil. Here's my base one press R to interact and then I have to find my ingredients so for sugar just one sugar then for leavening you'll want two of those I'm just right clicking putting in the number six water and you need your starch whatever kind of starch you have I have corn five of the regular kind you can cook for one or if you have many ingredients, which I do, I'll do continuous. Place enough ingredients for one batch and decide how many times you want to mix. If you accidentally do this, it'll stop you and say, this didn't work, do you want to go on? So even if you're unsure, sometimes you can still do it. 
f is maximum quantity so it knows that I can do up to 5 because my lowest ingredient number is 26, 28 corn. So there's that and press OK or enter on your keyboard. So he's gonna cook. I should note I have some pets too that increase my cooking experience. So as you cook you'll get these leftovers and you can exchange them in different places for contribution or silver or even beer itself. There's also one for cooking experience. So there we go, it's adding right into my total, so you can't really tell so well, but there's the beer. You use this to restore two worker stamina. And this is a beginner recipe, so it's easy to do. And if you start having lots of workers, you'll need a ton of it. So for a quick fix on how to get more cooking experience, start with beer. If you want to mass produce, make sure you invest in some starch nodes. And you're all set. Thanks for watching this episode. Make sure that you subscribe, follow my stream, or my Twitter for more videos.